So we want to remind you of some things you knew when you made the decision to come. We want to remind you that the law of attraction abounds and we want to remind you of the power of your own thought. And we want to help you to understand a very important concept, which is the path of least resistance. And by that, we mean there is a current of energy that comes from source that is on your side that adores you and flows to you and through you. That is the basis of all of the good that life can bring to you. It comes from source energy. It's an awareness of source energy upon you and your value, your true perfection. It's source energy who adores you and who flows to you and through you. And when you get in alignment with that flow, that is the ultimate path of least resistance. It's the flow of love. It's the flow of clarity. It's the flow of well-being. It's the flow of good feeling. It's the flow of joy. It is the path of least resistance. And so love is the path of least resistance and hate is the path of most resistance. Ease is the path of least resistance and struggle is the path of most resistance. And so clarity is the path of least resistance and confusion is more resistance. You see what we are getting at? So as you came into this physical body, you knew that part of you was being focused into this body. And you knew that this part of you that came into this human form would be subjecting yourself to a variety that did contain resistance. And you came willingly and expectantly and eagerly because you also knew that the larger part of you, some call it your soul, your inner being, some call it source or God. We call it your inner being, this non-physical energy of perfection and of expansion continually becoming more you knew that that part of you would remain non-physically focused and would be steadily flowing to you. And that if you were in a receptive mode, you would be able to feel that clarity and that energy and that love. And you knew that in doing that, you would enjoy your expansion. So you said, I'll go forth with other humans and I will explore the variety and out of my personal and important exploration, I will come to my own conclusions about what I prefer. In other words, the universe will expand because of my attention and focus. And when a preference emanates from me or radiates from me vibrationally, as all thought does, that thought will be understood by my inner being and will be focused upon by my inner being will absolutely and actually be held in a vibrational environment. In other words, my inner being will receive my desire, will understand it and will become it and will hold the vibrational essence of it. And because my inner being is part of me and because my inner being has now received my expansive desire. Now there is a relationship that I have a vibrational relationship that I have with my inner being that I can interpret or understand or feel through my own emotions. So when I'm really going with the flow of what life has shown me that I prefer newly and my inner being understands it and embraces it and holds the frequency of it. When I go with the flow of those ideas, I feel that life force that is only present when I'm fully allowing who I really am to be who I really am. But if I give birth to a desire, but instead of going with the flow of it, I hold myself in resistance of it because I'm looking at the environment that caused me to desire it rather than the desire itself. In other words, I want more money, but I don't have enough. And if I continue to focus upon the lack of money while my inner being is focusing upon the abundance of money, then I'm holding myself in vibrational opposition to my new decision. And I'm not going with the flow and my not going with the flow is a path of more resistance while my going with the flow is a path 
of more resistance of more allowance resistance doesn't feel good allowance feels good and so that's really what we want to talk about that and the law of attraction and your relationship with source energy and the fact that you can be or do or have anything we want to show you how to understand your emotional guidance system and how to focus in a way that allows you to be less resistant more of the time and more allowing more of the time and therefore more joyful more of the time more in control of your own life more of the time more loving toward others more supportive of others more uplifting for others more of the energy that creates worlds rather than the energy that holds the creation back just a little bit and the thing is you can't hold the creation back you can just make yourself miserable trying because once a desire is born it's off and running because that's what you said you were here about so briefly we just want to remind you that there is a creative process that once you get in sync with it you will find such success at flow and ease and becoming in the way that you really mean to so step one is life causes you to sift and sort and evaluate and decide life just gives you contrast that causes desire to be born so step one is asking and life just causes you to do that all day every day step two is not your work and not your focus it's the work and the focus of your inner being step two is when you ask it is immediately instantaneously given to you in vibrational form when you ask it is given and the vibrational form is so magnificent because the vibrational form means that your inner being and all of your inner beings partners in non-physical which is source energy form a focused attention and a collective energy gathering environment around what you have asked for and cooperative components of all manner and all kinds are gathered in this vibrational environment for your benefit and we call that vibrational environment a vortex because it's a gathering of energies and it's impossible for anything that's a vibrational match to what you've asked for not to be gathered and so the cooperative components it's enormous it's significant and it's steady and it's sure and it's all for you step one step two step three is now you who have been somewhat resistant when you knew what you didn't want which caused you to know what you do want now your work is to focus upon what you do want rather than justify why you don't want what you don't want you got to go with the flow of your own new desire rather than stand in stubborn defiance of what you're living a sort of outraged justification I need it I demand it I want it that's not going with the flow that's going against the flow going with the flow is thinking about how good it will feel or looking for things that feel good right now you don't even have to stay on the subject of your desire you just can't focus in opposition to your desire and it's so weird most of you do I want more money but I don't have enough and you join together with other complainers to talk about how hard life is I want a boyfriend but where are all of them they're all taken all the good ones are gone no they're not they're out there looking for you too but when you focus in opposition to what you want then you hold yourself in a place where you can't receive and that's what step three is step three is practicing thoughts of positive expectation step three is thinking about what you do want rather than what you don't want step three is feeling worthy enough to receive what you want and that takes some practice for many of you because you've been basing your feeling of worthiness on what you've got not upon what you want often you think that there is some outside arbitrator some outside negotiator some outside decider of what's right and wrong and good and bad for you who is preventing you from the goodness that you want and there isn't it's only you and your own resistance because all that you know as good is rooting for you is there in your vortex of creation is there with the cooperative components just calling you home to it calling you in the direction of it and when you turn 
ever so slightly and you begin moving in the direction of your desire you begin to feel the relief as your resistance releases little by little until eventually you can feel the utter satisfaction of going with the flow it doesn't require work on your part it doesn't even require action although ooh, action with the flow is so much fun action against the flow is struggle so step one step two step three step four is just getting really good at step three that's all <laughs> step four is the mastery of step three step four is finally accepting that you're supposed to feel good and allowing yourself to and even working toward feeling good even when the conditions around you don't easily lend themselves to that step four is wanting so much to feel the satisfaction of alignment that you have some tricks up your sleeve or some good ideas in your pocket that you can get out any time to help you to lean in the direction of feeling good and then step five step five is when you're so used to feeling good and you witness something contrasting and you embrace and relish the contrast because you know the value of step one. Oh, good something else to want oh good oh good oh good negative emotion which is pointing out to me some paths of resistance that I'm still carrying around that aren't serving me and my perfect opportunity to release more resistance so that I'm more in the flow so you are powerful creators and you are doing extremely well and we are so pleased that you've come to play with us here today so that together we can talk about what matters to you and you're going to notice we're going to take thought in places it has not been before you'll feel us breaking into those new places and you will feel the exhilaration of your own inner being when we do that it's going to be a good day you're going to like it we already like it begin right here